And this episode was brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbook, America's top rated sports booking app. Not only is it safe, Deke, but it is secure and reliable. Always a great thing. No question. And for all the first time users out there, if you use the promo code MOTES, you will receive up to $1,000 in deposit bonus money. So, Deke, you like free money, right? Who doesn't? You also like the opportunity to win more money, correct? Especially when it involves sports. So, what are they waiting on? Download the app, use the promo code, and you get that. You get that opportunity to make some more money, baby. So, literally, stop wasting time. Download the app, use the promo code, and get that opportunity, baby. So, what do you think of Peterson? That Like, him specifically. We talked about Haley. As an offensive corner, I love him. I, I think, I mean, you saw what he can do. What he was doing in Philly. Now, granted, when he had the not even the full game, because he did this even with Nick Foles at times, you can see his feel for play calls is there. His creativity, the Philly special, I mean, it's been a hit for how long now? I mean, you see his creativity. You see how he's used different guys. I mean, he's not always had this full gamut of talent. I was going to say, that's probably with less yeah. personnel than and what then, he would I mean, have here. He, he he realistically helped discover Miles Sanders as well, a guy that we thought was was really well. I mean, played really well you know, in these past two years. So when I think of Doug Peterson, I do think that he could do his thing as an offensive coordinator. He's already done, you know, his job as office coordinator before. I think more so is, can you pay him enough to want to come here? And would he want to come here? Because if you're considering the Steelers and the Chiefs right now, the Chiefs are the more favorable job because number one, their quarterback is younger, whereas our quarterback is older. They also have their head coach and GM probably going to be in place for the next five to 10 years realistically in the next three years we could be looking at new quarterback new head coach new gm and that's just facts so if you're doug peterson which you know what do you want to join yeah. so that's, what do you want do you want thing. maybe yeah. a little bit more of a challenge because it's definitely gonna be a challenge because when that the happens. andy reed situation it's like all right now you're just yeah. going back to your comfort zone whereas mm-hmm. with the steelers man if you could come yeah. in here and we have explosive mm-hmm. offense that I mean, yeah. you could maybe bounce back to a head coaching position right. quicker, depending on what you want to do. But he could be battered or a little bit gunshot because of how or maybe he wants out to of stick Philly. with it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because you think in Philly, he had a ton of success as a head coach, Super Bowl, multiple division championships, multiple playoff appearances in a very short span, and then got fired within a five year window. Like that. that I mean, as with a not head, as like you said, yeah. with not the most help right. compared to other teams. <laughs> so. Yeah, if, if you're him, you, you might be like, dude, I, OC I, stuff I, I, ain't I don't, that I don't bad. like that. <laughs> yeah, give me OC. I can do my thing and I don't have to worry about getting fired after having success. Because here's the thing. So with the Chiefs versus the Steelers, if he goes to the Chiefs, they have success. Obviously, mm-hmm. they have Mahomes and everything. They're, right. they're going to be good for the next five to 10 years. No credit's going to be put to him. Correct. If he comes here mm-hmm. and things start going well, he's going to yeah. get a lot of credit. Absolutely. So it depends on how you sell it to him. Because if I'm his agent... I'm, that's the one way I'm spending it to him. But if I was anti-Pittsburgh, the other way I'm spending it to him is this. You could be without a job in three years. Realistically, if you come here, say Ben flops in a year, and then they struggle to draft a quarterback or Mason is the guy and he struggles to perform, they're not going to look at Ben retiring. They're not going to look at Mason not being good enough. They're going to say, oh, well, who's been the OC during I, that time? I'm assuming they'd give him a chance past Ben, correct? Depend on what it looks like. That's all I'm saying. But that, but that yeah. goes to your point though. Right. How much faith do you have in as in Mason? Right. If we're gonna yeah. go with him, now you're gonna have to draft a quarterback. Whatever it is, mm-hmm. there is a lot more uncertainty. Just no, in no general. question. Whereas yeah. you know for a fact in Kansas City, you already said it, man. You that's your comfort zone. You could just, I mean, you don't even have to be plugged in. You could just <laughs> fake like you're talking. Mahomes call what he want to call. They are gonna say, well, he's a part of the staff. He had to done well. We saw that help. Adam Gase. I mean, had that that saved him how many times now? He's under Peyton Manning. He was a part of Peyton Manning. That got him in Miami. That got him in New York. Let's see if he well, gets him another he job. Didn't, he didn't even have to go back to OC exactly. from Miami to New York. Solely which because crazy. of him being a part of Peyton Manning. So that could be Doug Peterson's approach as well. If I'm just a part of Mahomes, Mahomes keep <laughs> doing what he does. They gonna say, well, he's a part of that group. <laughs> gotta work. Look at how we look at the enemy. I'm just saying. <laughs> That's how it goes, baby. Are we even in the mix for Peterson? I don't know if that's just Steeler fans being Steeler fans because he's like well, the top th- this name. This is the thing. So technically, yes, you're, you're in the mix. What is going to decide is, number one, when he publicly says who he wants to look at. Number two, when we start talking money, are we in the mix? Because that that will eliminate a lot of people. Yeah. <sighs> Why not money, dude? I'm I'm just really questioning this. Because it doesn't go up against our cap. It, like, what is it? I mean, it, if it goes to the whole, we promote within, 
why can't we pay our guys a little bit better or we're just paying the paying the best for us you know most cost efficient i don't know man we'll, we'll, we'll talk later <laughs> okay i'm not talking about that right here okay. <laughs> we'll it's, talk later though. We'll it's talk just later. questions yeah, it's we'll, just we'll, questions we'll definitely talk later though but yeah man it, it's just it's unfortunate it's very much unfortunate because like you said it doesn't count against the cap and you would think that hey if just, we what, have an extra the, million right, if we have the resources to acquire these type of talented coaches why wouldn't you pay that money because by acquiring them that's only going to help your brand. That's only going to help win more. But that's a similar conversation we had when we talked about the old line. We said, man, why wouldn't you put your best five out there instead of trying not to hurt feelings? And then it's funny because when we when I kept hinting to the whole Matt Filer and Kevin Dotson, both of them needing to be out there, and we were simply saying that, hey, it shouldn't be just, oh, Dotson needs to come in and play left guard. Like, either side... You already see the reports that came out just yesterday that the team is going to be looking to either trade or cut both DeCastro and Marquise Pouncey. Whoa, whoa. They, they, I, yes, didn't, I did not hear yes, that. Yes, those reports came out yesterday. So you already see that they're going to be- DeCastro? Look, both of those guys. They whoa. said they're going to look to, to potentially move or release both of those guys this offseason. So to me, that already lets you know that they're looking at them and saying, hey, look, your play didn't stand up to what we have liked it to have been along with what your contract is. We're looking to make a move here potentially. If they're even looking to say that, not even you know a week yeah, after, it's like the, why wasn't right, this happening exactly. the last three weeks of the season? And, and that to me was the big issue, and that's why I kept saying it's like you say you want to win, you say you want your best players out there, but yet you won't do it. And then obviously they get the accolades of being Pro Bowl players, and these are my guys, brothers, four years together. But when you watch them on tape this year, their play was not up to that level. And that was the biggest issue, but they wouldn't address that. They wouldn't change anything up there. And now to see these reports coming out right after the season, it's like, man, you already knew you wanted to do this. You were already considering these things. Why not do that if that's going to give you the best chance to win? But that's the politics that we talk about, which is another reason why when we talk about some of these, oh, why wouldn't they pay these guys and this and that? It's a lot that goes into those decisions instead of it just being that cut and dry of, oh, it's only an extra two million. Pay the extra two million. You get this guy. It's more than just, you know, simplifying it like that. Even though it should be that simple, it never is at this level. Right.